Hi guys, this is going to be a video about how I start an oil painting since several people have requested it and I am about to start a new one for a commissioned piece. So um, I just went to the store so I got a bunch of goodies so let's go inside and unpack them. It was 10 degrees when I woke up this morning, so I decided today would be a good day to stay inside and do a ton of painting. I replaced two of my tubes of paint. Um, I ran out of my yellow ochre and burnt sienna a long time ago, and then I got pink soap, and it conditions your brushes. I haven't tried it before, so we'll see how well it works. These are both for my best friend. I usually start by gritting off my paintings. This saved me a lot of headache. I don't really so much need to do it anymore, but it just makes it faster getting my sketch down. If I do this first and I know everything is where it belongs. I use watercolor pencil. It can wash away once I get it wet, which makes it really helpful if I mess up or something. My easel is taped off now. Um, I just do that because my boyfriend built me this really beautiful easel and I don't want to get oil paints on the wood because it's really hard to get off. So I use the website grid drawing tool to put the grid on my photos. I skip to the last step. I've already um, cropped this image to be 4x5 and then I set the boxes. So I have five across and four down, just like I have on my canvas now. My doggie is joining us to do some painting. Hey puppy. All right, so I already messed up and this is what I was talking about with the watercolor pencil. I just get a brush. It erases really easily. Get rid of that with a paper towel and I can start over. Pretty much finished my sketch, so I'm going to move on to my next step and start mixing up some paints. So I'm going to use liquid, which is a medium that you can mix into your paints um, to help them dry faster or oxidize more quickly. I'll mix my pigments into it and it'll spread them all out and whatnot. So gotta fish some out. You can see I have plenty of liquid on my palette. everything that I wanted covered with the underpainting and that just really helps establish the relationship between highlights and shadows and when I use a color like the burnt sienna that's hyper saturated it lets my eye see more easily where I need to tone down things and make them neutral when I start putting down my first layer and overall just makes it easier to understand for my eyes what's going on when I'm ready to start painting the first layer. So I'm gonna let this dry now. It gets air and it's warm air um, blown on it which will help it dry more quickly and the wet liquid will also help it dry quickly too. So it should be pretty much dry in an hour or 
to just because of those things and then I can start putting down my first layer. I'm going to try my new pink soap, so we'll see how this goes. Hi guys! So I put in a few more hours of work on my painting. Um, I might do another video later on where I talk a little bit more about the next steps after just what I've shown in this video. But I wanted to give you guys a few tips and tricks for just making things go more smoothly. The first one is wash your brushes really, really well. They're not fun or easy to use when they have oils kicked in them. Um, and they're kind of expensive, so you want your brushes to last. So clean them every time really well. The second tip is because the paints oxidize, um, everyone in art school is always taught paint thin first. So when you're doing your underpaintings and getting started, you want to thin out your paints, do very thin layers, and as you gradually add more layers, they can get thicker. Um, you don't want your paints, your paintings to crack, and they will if you don't do that because they don't dry, they oxidize, and they'll crack and you'll be sad. So don't do that. My next point is keep everything clean. If you notice paint somewhere where it shouldn't be, somewhere other than inside the tube or on your palette or on the very end of your brush, clean it up immediately because I get it on my hands and then I touch my face and then I touch my hair and it gets everywhere. Um, it's not good for your skin, so you really don't want it on your face and it will stain your hair. And one time I had blue straight out of the tube and I must have touched the top of my head or something, but I had a huge spot right on top of my head and it did not come out for weeks. My hair was more platinum blonde at the time, but still, it stained it for weeks. It was very awkward looking. Um, so clean your hands, do not touch your face, do your best not to do that, but I still do that, it's hard. And also don't let the liquid dry on your palette, you want to clean it up before it dries. It's harder to deal with once it's dry, even if you use a knife like this, which works fine on the dry paint, it's really hard to get the liquid up, so do your best not to let that dry on your palette. That's all, I hope you all have a wonderful day, thank you for watching, bye!